beer anyways. <laughs> Back again for another episode of As the Beer Swirls. Yeah, My name is Dan. I am Mike. That is Mike. Dan, we're going to drink nerd sense and all their fluids and liquids. Oh, yeah. Great. What is it? This is straight up liquefied nerd sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. Uh, so this is from Trillium <laughs> Brewing Company. They're out of Canton, Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts. They're destroying Massachusetts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so so while they just overflow down into our state. <laughs> uh, this is Congress Street, and this is uh, an IPA mm-hmm. hopped exclusively, Ooh. exclusively from the stars of a galaxy above. Galaxy hops. Uh, so yeah, 7.2 ABV. All right. No can on date, because why would they? Um, They're above can Yeah, pick this up. Street series, baby. Keep cold, uh, drink fresh. Well, I kept the cold. Should be fresh. Sure. Uh, okay. It's weird. Trillium we're, doesn't. We're, we don't get distribution here. Yeah. And when we do, it's like a case of beer at a random store. Yeah. And usually it's marked up so ungodly high. I'm just like, no, nah, I'm good. Um, Not but this time. I took a splash because I want to support a local brew shop. Absolutely. Um, what so, local brew shop was that, Dan? Full Joey's Northside over in Newark, New York. Always happy to support Joey's. Yeah. Um, Full transparency, I've had this some bitch before, had two cans of it. Okay. I've not. Um, Mike hasn't, so Mike's gonna run the show. I'm gonna sit back and relax and maybe add a nuance here or there. We'll see what happens. I can guarantee you you won't be able to stay quiet for long. Uh that looks like a dull kind of orange juice. Uh, a little orange pear juice, maybe. Nice uh, fingers worth of uh foamy. Looks White pretty good on the fight in his glasses, right? Absolutely. Okay, Hashtag proper glassware, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Goodness. There's Sean. There's Mike. Ooh. There's all their nerdy goodness. Uh, that is um, a really nice tropical fruity kind of subdued array of delicious smelling fruit. So when I, mean, I had I'm, these, I'm gonna stank on it too. When I had these, I just kind of like drank, drank them. them. Yeah, okay. I didn't really. I mean, I, I, sure, I sniffed it and I did a right, little but untapped did but you weren't really dissecting it. It's nice to do. <sighs> to be honest, you know what I'm getting? I I didn't get the first couple of times. It's kind of weird. The first sip I got was this kind of explosive uh, grape. Ooh, okay. Like a the green grape. All right, not, not like grocery store grapes, like oh, like the, the like Concordy kind of grape? Concord or, right. grape. Interesting. Almost like, yeah. Not white wine ish. It was just like the grape skin. Oh, okay. Of the Concord. I like that. I love the grape skin. Again, I'm not talking about those sweet <laughs> bundles of sugar that you get at the grocery store. Not the cotton candy grapes. I'm talking like Naples, New York. Yeah, baby. Yeah. He's like pie. Uh, it, it's a, there, Just there's two a, fingers, it's so warm. <laughs> awesome. I knew he couldn't keep quiet for long. I All right, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Um, yeah, let's dive in. All right. Cheers. Mm. All right. That is uh that's some dirty fruit, but uh, the fruit is very like vibrant, bright, kind of pops. There's a little bit of it's a nice balance of there's some candied fruit, mm-hmm. some fresh fruit, a uh, lot of berry goodness in there, uh, some cherry. There's raspberry, a um, little, little blueberry if I'm not mistaken. One would say it's berry, berry good. Uh, there, there is a nice uh, uh, kind of oniony, dank nature to it. Like, not in the forefront, but kind of hanging out in the back. Uh, makes it more earthy, mm. I think. Uh, 7.2 ABV. Mm. I think the body is nice. Maybe lower side of medium. Uh, there's a little bit of carbonation. Just kind of spritzing it up. Bouncing it around a little bit. You know, what kind of struck me about this one, the for all the the pineapple and that berry aspect and the tropical. There fruit, is pineapple in there. You're right. It it came across. I was like, ooh, this is really kind of earthy, 
It's got an earthy, bittering bite to it. Yeah. Like, more bittering than I had expected. I expect this okay. one to be a sweet boy. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, so, here's kind of my take on this beer. I'm sure at one point, this changed a lot of games. Like, okay. back in the heyday, there was Treehouse, Trillium, right? Sure. Boom. While it's a, a good beer, mm -hmm. it's a good IPA. I think there's a lot of IPAs that are just like this now, mm -hmm. right? Um, so I don't want I'm not I don't want to take away from it, but for the price I had to pay to get it, right? Do I think it was worth it? Absolutely not, because I can get the same thing or maybe a little bit more in my wheelhouse compared for the price. If that makes sense. No, I absolutely get what you're saying. Like, the markup on this was insane. <clears throat> uh, it was like 24 bucks for a four pack. That, I think that comes down to, I'm. You're almost more supporting the place you're getting it from yeah. versus like, I'll just get it. Like, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, you want to know what honestly popped into my head? Mm -hmm. I was like, if I didn't know any better. This tastes like a bunch of Frequentum IPAs I've had. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's, again, I, I, I agree with you. It's a good IPA. I, I like it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't overpay for it to get it. Yeah. If I saw it, <laughs> I'd say if I saw it at Joey's, I'd get it. But I saw it at Joey's and didn't get it. I was there for the butch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, good use of the Galaxy Hop. Um it's a good IPA. I like it. I think and here's it's the thing: it's got a very full mouthfeel too. It's kind of nice. Okay. It, it's not. It's not too weighty, but it's full enough to where it's not watery at all for seven point two. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's why I was saying like before. Like I felt like it was man. It, it's got a, a medium kind of mouthfeel, but it's a little less than medium. I, I don't know if it's just the carbonation bouncing it around or the the vibrant fruit notes or whatever. But that's good. I like it. I'll give it a. I'll give it a four. Yeah, I think I'm like around a four one. I think I don't know if I put a four or four point two five on on tap because I you can't do in between unless right, you right. pay the extra thing or whatever. But yeah, it's it's very serviceable and yep. it's it's I would be like if I'm in the Massachusetts area and I this was on tap somewhere, I'd be like yeah, I'll take one. I wonder what like let's say you're up in Massachusetts. So I know you're, that, let's say you're squatting at the Nerd Sense bunker. Yeah, you know. You see this on a shelf for let's say twenty bucks. Are you are you paying twenty bucks? Yeah. Or do you, or do I, you I want it more like the sixteen dollar? I think eighteen stops. Okay. I see. I think that's fair. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Because here's the thing: this is a street series, so there's a lot of different ones in this series. Okay. I know that from watching Nerd Sense because mm -hmm. they have like. There's like double Congress Street, double dry hop. Oh yeah. There's okay. The triple versions. Yep. Then there's like Congress Street. With whatever Citra, with what you name sure, it, hop. sure. So, um, yeah, it, it's really solid, but for the markup, for it's like kind of a thing. It's like, oh my god, they got trillium, yeah, right? Ah, I don't want to pay that much, yeah. <laughs> now, if we got trillium all the time, I'd probably walk by it, I think, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Like, if it's since we get it so infrequently, mm. a little easier to buy it. So. All right. Uh, until next time. Yeah. Uh, Let us know how much you'd pay for us. Yeah. Probably not much. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.